What up everyone, and today I am going to be showing you how to optimize any game and make them run super well. Um, I have a program here called Process Lasso. If you haven't heard of it, you need this, bro. This is this can optimize everything, basically. So basically, I'm going to run you through this. Um, it looks like there's a lot, but don't worry. It's fine. It's chill, and I got you. So go in the main... Uh, be sure to check manage processes of all users if you if you somehow have different users I don't know why you would but you know some people are that like that also check your active profile to bits and highest performance um, and I have another uh, power plant utilization uh, optimization video out there that specifically talks about how you can max out the performance of this power plan and um, you should enable smart trim and performance mode and we'll get into smart trim later so um go to your where is it options and go to general and you want to go to your refresh interval and change that to five seconds um you should also go to configure startup and just start at login for all users and yep you're good so yep I'm gonna restart that it's gonna pop up like this after how many days 30 days yeah and you just have to wait it's annoying but it actually helps out your performance a bunch so after that we c come in here go to CPU um, do not enable pro balance I don't know why it's a thing but Basically, oh crap, if you first start up this program, uh, you will have the option to enable foreground boosting. I would recommend you do that. Uh, and then go into memory and go into memory options or smart trim options. And just enable smart trim, check every one minute, and put it on purge standby list and system file cache. And then all you want to do is change this value based on your RAM. Oh, what the frick? Um, I have a 16 gig RAM or GB RAM, so I put it on 8196. Um, its default value is 1024, I think. If you're on 8 gigabytes, yeah, you're going to be fine using that. So then we go into power, just check everything in performance mode, and check these, and start with bit some highest performance so then check force mode uh, that will continuously reply settings so you don't lose any settings and now we get into the fun part so these are all the programs that are running on your computer and basically you can just go to active processes because you don't really need everything but uh, let's say you have your game running here I'm just going to use OBS as an example. What you can do is set CPU priorities and memory and I.O. priorities to help uh, boost your performance. So CPU priority, make sure to go always high. Highest actually has some issues, so I wouldn't trust that. Uh, CPU infinity, make sure you're using all your CPU cores for intensive FPS games unless you have a game that runs smooth uh, with like without any problems. So like let me give you uh, so for Fortnite I get like I get inconsistent FPS. So I would use all my cores on Fortnite to make sure it's consistent. But if you're running something like I don't know, I don't really have any other games. If you're running like Valorant really consistently, you can actually disable smt or hyper threading and that would actually boost your performance um it just basically utilizes only your uh, core cores that did not make sense did it like your, your legitimate cores which would be zero two four six for me it's all the even numbers and that would boost your performance so go into io priority make sure to check always high and memory normal and make sure the application power profile is on bits of the highest performance and induce performance mode. So yeah, you can do that with your game and 
for everything else, I would just leave them on normal. Um, I wouldn't really mess around with it. It's because it's your Windows um, processors and it would really screw up your system. So yeah, that's how you use Process Lasso. So next I have something called Optimizer. Um, you can search this up and download it. Um, if you can't find it, I don't even know where I found this. I think it was just a link in a video or something, but this basically changes your system to make it run better. Um, be sure to check all of these and yeah, don't check anything else. I haven't checked because those can actually mess up your system really bad. So yeah, okay, same thing for Windows 11. That's because I use Windows 11. If you're using Windows 10, um, just check all the options I have checked. Maybe it's different, I actually don't know. Um, don't download any or install, uninstall any apps you don't like you need so like all this microsoft stuff you actually need this but like maybe you don't need microsoft paint or like winrar stuff like that then you can uninstall so startup um i only have this i just disable the startup basically you know uh you don't have to worry about apps and for cleaner i don't use the cleaner here as you can see i have cc cleaner so I will be making a video on that too. So then you should go into registry and then you should check all of this and fix your registry issues. That would really help your system. And yeah, if you want to see my system, here it is. It's trash CPU and this mediocre graphics card, I guess. Pretty cool. Don't hack me, please. <laughs> And yeah, just do all that, apply your settings, and it's going to tell you to restart, and then you'll be good to go. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, subscribe, like, and I also have a Discord link in the description that has um, very specified videos from creators like Panchino that will help your system a lot. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe, leave a like, do whatever, and I'll see you next time.